Coming at you from Tokyo, Japan, my name is David and I'm attempting to manual swap this Suzuki Everyvan. I pulled this back through while the camera was dead. That's to hopefully give me more access down there to the starter motor bolt. This spider web of shit is also in the way, so I might get rid of that. Let's just undo that. This was me, I think, because it was all hacked up from previous owner. Excellent. There's an earth ring terminal on there and it's bent on sort of a 45 up and it's going to stop this from getting on there. And there's not enough light there for the GoPro to pick it up, but it's down through there. So if I get a long enough extension on my socket, I should be able to reach it. We're at the one hour and 30 minute mark. Are you still having fun? I don't know if I was having fun in the beginning. So still, saying still is a bit misleading. Are you still having fun? <laughs> I never was. Still implies that you were ever having fun. And I wasn't. I don't think. I don't really know why I'm doing this. I think just because I think, one, I think manual will be better, and two, I want to know what it's like. As I was saying last night, the automatic's not that bad. Like, I'm sure if you drive it, you're going to disagree with me, but I didn't think acceleration was that bad. Oh, I'm rolling away. Dangers of working on a hill. All right, all of the extensions. And we're here. Yep. How's that Astro Products ratchet? Ah, uh, it's a piece of shit. It f is a piece of shit. Really? So starter motor going to try and leap. Yeah, look, it's trying to leap out of the car. Previous encounters of starter motors were like they stuck there with some kind of flange and you had to sort of not fight with them, but they weren't trying to fall out constantly. You know, actually, if you know how that, if you know how to do that, that's not that difficult. Though, getting that bolt back in might suck balls. I gotta get that out. And that's the last one, I think. Look at the way that this just rides up and sits underneath my chin. Every time I lie down, this hoodie just, just does this. It's, it's so annoying. Where's my fucking torch? Like, look at this. Look at this water. And look, it's up here again. Oh, for f sake, stay down there. This water just, just coming in and then, we're just gonna, just gonna curve over there and go under the car. Like what the f Who laid this concrete? Oh mate, it's made in Japan, it'll be great. <laughs> oh wow, that's some, um, that's tight as f You mother f The bastard that did this up. Yeah, the bastard that did this up. This is supposed to be like, I think 25 Newton meters or something, or 50, 50 maybe. I can't remember. The guy that did this up. Wow, what a piece of work. There we go. I put anti-seize on it and then did it up to 7 million Newton meters of torque. The thing that I've just noticed, this sketchy backyard turbo shit is actually going to get in the way. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the box out past this. I might have to take the wastegate off. Look how close this is. How many bolts is it held on with? No doubt he used one around the corner too. I can't even with this car, like f if I undo that, and then I undo that, is there another bolt? Like this thing swoops all the way around. Does it actually connect to anything else? Can't even tell. So some, um, some Allen keys to get the wastegate out of the way. Allen's keys. God, that's sketchy. What the f man? I don't even know what turbo this is. It's an IHI something. Oh yeah, that's what he's done. Oh f Okay, so yeah, we're screwed. We're f We're absolutely f you can see under there, you see that bolt? There's no way to get that out. That's not coming out. So you have to drop the turbo to get the gearbox out because of this mother I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need a minute. 